Honorable Mr. Eric Falk, Director and UNESCO Representative to India, Bhutan, Maldives, Sri Lanka Chief Guest. Mr. MP Punya, Vice Chairman, AICT, as Guest of Honor. Professor Rushikesh Chenapati Ji, Director NCERT. Major Harsh Kumar, Secretary NCERT. Professor Amrendra Behra, Joint Director CIET. Other officials. Respected jury members, chairpersons of various committees, Mrs. Basin, ADG PIB, NCIT faculty, my colleagues and staff, students, teachers, and parents. This Yoga Olympiad we are organizing for the third time consecutively. Every year we are organizing it. As we all are aware, yoga is thousands year old. And it has already been a part of our culture and traditions. The seals and even you can say the remains, the fossil remains of Indus Valley civilization has already indicated that it was part and parcel of our culture and it is part and parcel of a culture. Though systematically it was being presented or you can say given to the world by Maharishi Patanjali in his Yoga Darshan. But there are many saints, many yogis and many organizations are working towards promotion of yoga. And the credit goes to, to make yoga as a international day of yoga to the UN because on December, you can say 11, 2014, 193 countries uh, agreed to the proposal to declare 21st June as international day of yoga. And since then, government of India is organizing many programs and activities related to yoga on 21st June. But 21st June is only an, a day. That doesn't mean that we are organizing or we should organize only on that day. I think the children sitting here and their practices shows us that it is a continuous part of their way of living. And that's why NCRT also took an opportunity to provide a, a opportunity to the children to be at one place from different parts of the country. NCRT developed as I said in the beginning also, that textbooks on yoga, so textual material, not only in Hindi, it is available in English, it is also available in Urdu. So these three languages have already been done. And 2016 onward, we are organizing yoga. The uh, response is very encouraging. The children from, in the beginning in 2016, only 21 states and union territories participated, but now we have 26 states and union territories and four RIs, Regional Institute of Education. So students from demonstration school also participated. Sometimes we feel it's difficult to, you can say, make arrangement for all the children. So there are many children who are not able to, uh, to come. Even from Andaman and Nicobar, we received their confirmation, but, but because they were not able to get, you can say, reservation in the ship, and therefore they could not participate in this Yoga Olympiad. Last year they participated in this Yoga Olympiad. So I think it's an encouraging sign. And those students who are present here, they are not that only they have done yoga. Because the selection process is such that they first participated at the block level, then at the district level, then at the state level, and then they have reached to the national level. So in all, only 16 students were able to participate at this Yoga Olympiad from one state or union territory. But those who have not been able to participate, I think they are also the winner of this Yoga Olympiad. The objective of Yoga Olympiad is not to observe only for one day. I think we have to make it a part and parcel of our life. And such type of activities definitely provide the skills, the life skills. As the director has well said, that we have to have not only physical fitness, but strong we have to have emotionally. And we have to mentally alert. So yoga will definitely help us in the development of uh, emotional stability, 
emotionally strength, physical fitness, confidence, because presenting on the dais itself is not a very easy job. So confidence, collaboration, teamwork, and you might have made many friends from different states and union territories. So this also is an opportunity to meet persons, people, officials from different parts of the country at one platform. There will be some prizes also for you, and these prizes doesn't mean that only those who are receiving the prizes, they are the only winner. But according to us, you all are the winner of this Yoga Olympiad because we want that yoga should be made part and parcel of your life. And I uh, can say with confidence, those students who will do yoga as a part of their life, they will never fail in their life because they will get so much of concentration, so much of, you can say, confidence, so much of courage that they will always move forward and forward. In the end, I'll only say, yoga is the journey of self, through the self and to the self. Thank you very much.